हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इन सी प्लस प्लस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इंक्लूड माई ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ देर आर टोटल सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस आर अवेलेबल इन विच फर्स्ट इज सिंगल इनहेरिटेंस सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस टोटल टू क्लासेज आर इन्वॉल्व वन इज बेस क्लास एंड अनदर वन इज डिराइव क्लास so in this example a class is known as base class and b class is inheriting the features of a class so you can see this diagram here a class is base class and its features are inherited by b class so for this purpose uh, first a class is uh, defined then b class is inheriting uh, features of a class so in main function you can create uh, object of b class to access members of a as well as b class now this is second uh, type of inheritance which is multi level inheritance so in this uh, example total three classes are involved first is a class second one is b class and third one is c class so you can see that a class is inherited in, into b class and b class is inherited into c class so if i draw a diagram then at level first a class will be there then features of a class will be inherited by b class then features of b class will be inherited by c class so you can see that uh, features of a class uh, is available with a b and features of a as well as b will be available with c class so this is a uh, second type of inheritance which is known as multi level inheritance so here b class is working as derived as well as base class it is derived class for a class and it is working as b class uh, base class for c class third type of inheritance is multiple inheritance so in this case a class is base base class b is also base class and both the classes are being inherited with c so if i draw a diagram then a and b are base classes which are defined at same level and features of a as well as b will be inherited by c class so in case of multiple inheritance Uh, more than one base classes will be there and single derived class will be there fourth type of inheritance is hierarchical inheritance so in this case a is base class it is being inherited by b class and also with c class so here base class is one which is a first it is inherited by b class then independently it is inherited by c class so you can say that uh, b class also has features of a class and c class also has features of a class next type of inheritance is multi path inheritance so first understand uh, this example with the help of diagram here a class is base class then it is being inherited by b class as well as with c class then b and c both are inherited by d class so you can see that features of a class is available with b features of a class will be available with c then features of both b and c classes are available with d class but features of a class will be available twice in d class one from b and one from c so to resolve uh, that problem a keyword is used here that is known as virtual so whenever you are inheriting a class into b and a class into c then you have to use virtual keyword so that if you inherit both b and c classes together in a d class then features of a class will be available only once next type of inheritance is hybrid inheritance so hybrid means combination of more than one types of inheritance 
so this example uh, can be represented as first base uh, first base class is a then a class is inherited into b then there is another class which is c then features of b and c classes are inherited into d class so you can see that a b c are sorry a b and d are framing multi level inheritance and b c and d are uh, framing multiple inheritance so this is a combination of uh, two uh, uh, two types of inheritance that's why it is known as hybrid inheritance so a class is inherited by b then c is independent base class then b and c classes are inherited by d class so this is sixth type of inheritance so uh, there are total six forms of inheritance available you can use any type of inheritance which is applicable as per your problem thank you for watching this video